Hello everybody. Um today I will be reviewing um showcasing my new tank that I just finished today. It is a M1 Abrams. I uh I really like this tank. This is one of my favorite tanks actually. I have a toy of it which is cool too. And um I tried to make this as accurate as possible, so this is all I could come up with. But um um, gaming, um, this is up out to gaming is awesome too. He is a very talented micro builder of tanks and battleships. I would like to, um, I, I would like to shout, shout him out for being awesome. And he also made an Abrams, which is probably better than mine. But mine, um, so I made this out of metal. That's why I ra ran out of metal. So it's pretty dur durable, you could say. It's unpainted parts. It's bad. So I use this custom paint for this, and um, so I don't have any more boat motors, as you can see. And then um, uh, so I had to make these um collision off, and then once they would go into the ground, they would have these like so they're not really tracks, but um, but yeah. So you can that's th that's the gun. Unfortunately, you can't rotate. <laughs> And these are like the speakers, I think, or like the missile launchers. I don't, I don't, I don't, really, I don't really know. So we have the big turret here. We have the target thingies, and you can access it through. The, um, it's supposed to be that hatch, but I just access it through here. And then you got this. Um, I could add more stuff in the back, but it's really empty in here. So. Uh, so now in the U.S. military, um, this is one of the um, most used tanks. I guess it can. It's pretty. It's pretty powerful. It's a pretty um, intense fighter. This is a pretty intense fighter. It um, its turret can rotate fast. It um, it it moves a little bit fast. It, it moves fast, and then it can climb up mountains and stuff. So um, I. Uh, since I didn't have any more boat motors, and if I even if I did, it, it, this would be too heavy. So I control. So, so let's just I'll just show you what I can do. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So I so I ha I had to add add these two things because these these keep like falling down. But then um um the wheels is really what pushes it, and then I had to add these. So from the side, it looks like there's still um shreds tracks so um it can rotate its turret of course but i didn't make a turret limiter so it could basically do that it can basically <laughs> um go full 360 but um so it's q to go forward a and g to um do that e to go backwards so um this is practicing my hand eye coordination to control so it can climb over stuff pretty good <laughs> it's um not as good as like the the real Abrams, but it, it's good, good enough. So let's see if it can climb up this. Yes, it can. It can climb. So yes, its turret can move really fast. It can go full 360, so I can shoot the T Rex. But um. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty cool. So this is one of my um, most detailed tanks. Actually, this is a tank that I actually you know tried. I I could have added like um, some sort of um, symbol here, like uh, some sort of thing, but I added the like these things. But yeah, this is the M1 Abrams. Abrams. Uh, I think I could have done a little bit better on the detail and the uh, and the tracks. The turret is. I, I think I could have done better on the turret. As you can see, um, there's the mechanic thing, and then this can like elevate, go up and down. But I only made it look like that. It can't actually do that. So I added that big thing that goes up, and then the turret. So, um, gaming is awesome. Can you please rate, um, can you please rate this, um, tank? I really want to know what's your opinion on this, Abrams. I'm pretty sure yours is much better than mine, but, um, I just want to see 
how if you like it or not. So thanks you guys for watching this and um our di next dinosaur tutorial is going to be coming up soon. So uh yeah. I hope everybody um a good evening.